More than 4 billion years ago, a supernova nearly tore the solar system apart. 4.6 billion years ago, a powerful supernova may have destroyed the newborn solar system, according to a recent study. Scientists came to this conclusion after analyzing isotopes found in meteorites. Fortunately, our system escaped this fate and was protected by a dense cloud of molecular gas. Many factors from the past could have prevented life on Earth from emerging, and the existence of the solar system itself would have been threatened. One of them is a supernova explosion. According to scientists, something like this actually happened more than 4 billion years ago, and our system only survived because it was still relatively young at the time. A group of scientists led by astrophysicist Doris Arzomanian of the National Astronomical Observatory NAO, in Japan studied isotopes of elements present in meteorites. These pieces of rock were once part of the asteroids, formed from the material that was around when the Sun formed, and then the planets of the solar system. Therefore, meteorites can be treated as a kind of fossil, which allows scientists to reconstruct the evolution of the solar system. The results and description of the research were published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. At some point, the star may run out of fuel necessary for further thermonuclear reactions to take place in it. As a result, the core of such a star is no longer able to resist gravitational forces and it collapses. At this very moment there is also a devastating explosion, a supernova. Such an explosion contributes to the spreading of elements heavier than iron into space, which were formed inside the star and which may contribute to the formation of the next generation of stars. However, a supernova is also inherently associated with the generation of a powerful shock wave that would be able to tear apart a newly formed planetary system. According to scientists, such an explosion could have occurred several billion years ago near the solar system. According to them, the proof of this are the isotopes that we can find in meteorites. Different levels of concentration of the radioactive aluminum isotope can be found in these pieces of rock. And it was these analyzes that led to the conclusion that about 4.6 billion years ago, an additional dose of radioactive isotopes appeared in our planetary backyard. And the reason for this could be the supernova. But the solar system survived that explosion. How did this happen? It should be remembered that stars are born in a cloud of molecular gas, which consists of, among others, of dense fibers. Star formation takes place along them and at their intersections. And it was these filaments that protected the young solar system. These meteorites, in which a large amount of radioactive isotopes were found, broke away from larger objects. They could be, for example, asteroids, which in turn were formed in the first 100,000 years. Years of the existence of the solar system and therefore could also count on the protection of dense filaments of molecular gas. Paradoxically, however, the same filaments that protected both the asteroids and the forming planets may have also contributed to the fact that radioactive isotopes were directed deep into the nascent young solar system. Further research in this area may contribute to a better understanding of how both stars and their planetary systems form and evolve. Magnetic field reversal 42,000 years ago could have caused a mass extinction. Temporary rapid changes in Earth's magnetic field that occurred 42,000 years ago years ago. 
triggered major climatic changes. They led to the mass extinction of plants and animals. They may also have prompted our ancestors to seek shelter in caves, which would explain the sudden appearance of rock art around the globe, according to a new study by Australian scientists. This dramatic turning point in Earth's history, which was characterized by geomagnetic storms, extensive auroras and rising levels of cosmic rays, was triggered by Earth's magnetic pole reversal and changing solar wind. According to researchers from the University of New South Wales, UNSW, Sydney and the South Australian Museum in a paper published in Science. Researchers have dubbed this period the Adams Transient Geomagnetic Event, or the Adams Event, for short, in homage to science fiction writer Douglas Adams, author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. For the first time in history, we were able to precisely determine the timing and environmental impact of the last change of the Earth's magnetic poles, argues the co-author of the study, Professor Chris Turney from UNSW. The discovery was possible thanks to an ancient New Zealand tree called Kauri in the Maori language, Agates New Zealand, Agathus Australis which has been preserved in settlements for over 40,000 years. Years. Thanks to it, we were able to accurately determine the time when changes in the Earth's magnetic field took place and track them year after year, says the scientist. Researchers since the 1960s know that the Earth's magnetic poles reversed around 41 to 42,000 years ago. Years ago, this event is known as the Lachom event, Le Champ event. However, it has not yet been determined how this reversal affected life on our planet. An analysis of the rings of an ancient cowrie tree sheds new light on the matter. This tree is like a Rosetta stone that helps us connect environmental changes seen in caves, ice cores and peat bogs around the world, says study co-author Professor Alan Cooper from the South Australian Museum. Thanks to the collected data, it was possible to develop a global climate model that prevailed on Earth for over 40,000 years. Years ago, Scientists were able to track the growth of ice sheets and glaciers over North America and changes in tropical storm systems. For years, researchers have been trying to explain the mystery of the rapid extinction of species in Australia and Tasmania, which occurred 42,000 years ago. Years ago, it always seemed strange. This happened long after the arrival of the Aborigines in these areas, more or less at the same time when the Australian environment turned barren, says Professor Cooper. According to the researchers, the Adams event could explain many other evolutionary mysteries, such as the extinction of the Neanderthals and the sudden, widespread appearance of figurative art in caves around the world. This is the most surprising and most important discovery I've ever been involved in, says Professor Cooper Earth's magnetic north pole. The direction the compass needle points to does not have a fixed location. It is usually located near the geographic north pole, which is the northernmost point of the Earth's axis. The position of the magnetic poles changes, which is influenced by the processes taking place in the Earth's core. Usually, the displacements are small, but over 41,000 years ago, the North and South Poles completely switched places. The Lachamp event was the last Earth reversal. It lasted about 800 years.
after which the magnetic poles return to their previous places, says Professor Turney. So far, research has focused on a period when the poles were reversed and the Earth's magnetic field was 28% weaker from his strength today. But according to the new findings, the most dramatic moment occurred when the poles wandered across our planet. During the Adams event, the Earth's magnetic field was at most 6%. Its strength today, explains Professor Turney. We basically had no magnetic field at all. Our shield against cosmic rays was completely gone, he says. During the collapse of the magnetic field, the Earth was left without protection from solar flares and cosmic radiation. Unfiltered radiation from space rips air molecules in Earth's atmosphere, separating electrons and emitting light. This process is called ionization, says Professor Turney. Ionized air literally, fried, the Earth's ozone layer, triggering a wave of climate change around the globe, he adds. At that time, the auroras were visible all over the globe, and not, as today, only in the far north and south. Our ancestors could observe amazing, shimmering auroras in the sky, says Professor Cooper. Ionized air, which is an excellent conductor of electricity, has also increased the frequency of geomagnetic storms. People might have thought that the end of the world was coming, believes Professor Cooper. Scientists believe that the dramatic environmental changes 42,000 years ago years may have prompted the first people to seek increasingly safer shelters. This could explain the sudden appearance of cave art around the world during this period. We believe that the rapid increase in UV levels, especially during solar flares, made the caves exceptionally good shelters. A common motif in cave art in the form of red ochre handprints may indicate that it was used as a sunscreen, says Professor Cooper. The research began two years ago after the discovery of an ancient cowrie tree in the city of Narfa in New Zealand, with a trunk 2.5 meters in diameter. The tree was alive at the time of the Lischamp event. Like other cowrie logs found in the ground, Narfa wood is very well preserved said Dr. Jonathan Palmer of UNSW, an expert in tree ring dating. Using radiocarbon dating, the team tracked changes in the atmosphere during the pole reversal. Thanks to the preserved jars, it was possible to track them year after year. All of this helped to reconstruct this dramatic period in Earth's history, when a chain of environmental and climate changes led to mass extinction of species. Scientists are concerned about the current rapid movement of the North Magnetic Pole. Many researchers speculate that we are on the verge of another Earth reversal. Such a polar reversal could have a catastrophic impact on our planet today. Electricity and satellite networks would be destroyed, which, combined with the climate crisis, could lead humanity to the brink of the abyss.
That's why researchers call for stopping climate change before it's too late.